Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're doing very fabulous. So today I got to get back into this palette. <laughs> It's the new Adept Cosmetics Flying Fiddles palette. Okay, I already did a first impressions. I did two eye looks. I did swatches. I did a very honest review at the end of that video. I will link it below in the description box. You guys, I just wasn't wowed by this palette. So today I want to see if I can get back into it. Let's see if I can redeem this palette because for $62, plus shipping. And then if your state is tax, you're getting almost up into $80. Okay. So I want to see if I can just, I want to, I want redemption for this palette. I want to love this palette so bad, you guys. Um, just to be clear, I had a discount code and my, my state did not require tax. So I ended up with the 15% discount code, ended up only paying $62 and 50 cents, which basically covered the shipping. Um, so but anyways, if you if you are paying full price though, it's a little, I feel like it's a little much, but, but before I get right into the eye looks, my name is Carrie. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, if you like my content. And for those of you already subscribed, man, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate you guys a lot. All right. So because I've done the, oh, I almost dropped this palette all over the floor, you guys. Because I've done already swatches and, and first impression video, I'm just going to go through this pretty quickly. I'm just going to tell you the shades that I'm going to go into. And then I can kind of give you, in case you don't want to watch the video, my first impression video, I'll kind of give you a brief synopsis of what I, you know, what my constructive criticism was in that particular video. All right, so I'm going to go into Tan Toffee Rose, which is one of four mattes. That's all you're getting in this palette, you guys, four mattes. And one of my biggest, I think, things with this particular palette is that there is only four mattes and the nature of the mattes are incredibly pigmented and they're very, very deep. With the exception of the shade that I'm using right now, which is Tan Toffee Rose. Let me just show you really quick what I'm talking about. So matte, matte, matte incredibly, incredibly pigmented. And then this one right here, Tan Toffee Rose is like the only, I feel like it's the only reasonable and logical shade um, in this palette as far as mattes go. I wish they would have put, I wish they would have put two more mattes in this palette and then I think it would have been perfect. Um, something that was a blending shade matte perhaps you know to kind of blend out your um uh transition and just another matte to just go go for that's not so highly pigmented um but tan toffee rose the the pink that i'm going into right now i'm going to put it all over the lid too is a phenomenal color it's a, it's a beautiful color in fact this matte is something that I am really drawn to. But you know what? If you guys know me, I, I'm, I like these like dusty, rosy mauve colors. So is there a wow factor with it? No, because I got a billion palettes that have that shade in it already. <laughs> but the other shade that I really love is this one right here called Honey Spurge. Yeah, Honey Spurge. I was going to say Splurge, but it's Honey Spurge. Um, that one is really, really beautiful and it's phenomenal, but it's not enough to, to make me grab for this palette, you know? So um, I am going to use a little bit of glitter glue and I'm going to put Honey Spurge all over the eyelid. And there's no glitter in this palette, you guys, even though the shades might look glittery. And the reason why I'm using glitter glue is because uh, there is fallout. And when I used the palette yesterday, I did have a bunch of fallout, kind of like sparkles on my face, which I don't mind. You know, I don't mind being sparkly. I wasn't mad at it. All right, so I'm going to go in with Honey Spurge. I'm going to put that all over the eye. See, that's just that right there. Beautiful. These two shades together, stunning. But I'm not going to pull for this palette for just these two shades. So I'm going to, well, all right. Okay, going back into Tan Toffee Rose, let's just kind of stamp out right here. You know, these companies like Adept Cosmetics, you know, these indie brands, you guys, they work so hard to, to, to give us good quality makeup. And my review was not a testament of the company. It was just specific to this palette only. 
Um, okay, I'm gonna take a different brush. I'm gonna go into Sahara. It's the other matte shade, and it's like a brown shade, and gosh, you guys, it's so pigmented, and I'm gonna even tap off. I'm gonna see if I can start to darken up the outer V in the crease just a little bit, and I'm gonna take it underneath the lower lash line. But they work really hard to give us good quality makeup, and I know that Adept Cosmetics is a very specialized type look, um, and none of their palettes have ever caught my eye before. Um, like this one did the flying fiddles. This flying fiddles is a neutral palette, you guys. And I thought to myself, okay, yes, I can get on board with that. It's a neutral palette and so pigmented. I am continuing to just keep building and building and building that Sahara up. And I even tapped it off you guys. <laughs> and it's just, it's just so highly pigmented. Um, I feel like, so a palette like this would be no bueno for beginners um, because of how, how highly pigmented, almost, I feel like it's almost overboard pigmentation. Anyways, let's take that Sahara underneath the lower lash line. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of keep blending. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more Sahara onto the brush here. I mean, it's very beautiful. I, I'm happy with, you know, how the eye look is coming out so far. It's very simple. Um, it sparkles. It's pretty. I feel like it's daytime appropriate, nighttime appropriate. But it's just like, am I wowed by it? No. Do I have a million other palettes that I might have only spent um, $10 on like ColourPop or, or LA girl or, or any other brand of company that I could get a beautiful look like this. I mean, you don't have to spend the kind of money. All right. I'm going to take another, I'm going to take a flat brush. I'm going to go into Sahara. It's the brown, um, matte, and I'm just going to kind of put Sahara right here on the lash line to get a little depth in the eye is all. Cause I am trying to think outside the box with this palette, you guys. And, and I want, you know, I don't know. Okay. To me, very beautiful, very basic, nothing really that special. Is it something I played it very safe on purpose? <laughs> um, I thought, well, if maybe I go for the, the, the colors or the shades that I gravitate toward, maybe I will be wowed by it. But you know, again, I got, I got a bunch of others, you know, that, Wow me. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit more glitter glue. I am going to put it in the inner corner, this glitter glue, because y'all know I love a good inner corner highlight. I like a good brow bone highlight too. And the problem is with this palette is that there's no brow bone highlight. That's another matte shade I feel like they could have really added um, to this palette. Uh, or a satin even. You know, I just feel like they missed the mark on that. But you know who am I? I Again, you guys, I'm not judging. It's just as a as a makeup consumer, that's all. I'm giving just my humble opinion. All right, I'm gonna take a different brush and then Dahlia. Let's go into Dahlia. I I did like this shade a lot. This one, Dahlia, I know is one of the duochromes, and it's really very beautiful. It's it's super beautiful. Let's take a little bit on the inner lid here. Let's see if we can buff it out a little bit and get some of that duochrominess. All right, I'm going to take whatever's left over. I'm going to put it on the brow bone. It's, it's pretty. It's definitely pretty. Dahlia is a very beautiful shade. Um, but then again, so are all by other, you know, indie brands and mainstream brands. Little tiny, tiny, teensy bit of fallout, but that's okay. I'm not, that is not a deal breaker for me. Just fluff it away, fluff it away. Um, okay, so now, mm, yeah, let's, let's, I'm gonna tight line. I am gonna tight line. I'm gonna use my um, Sephora collection. This is just their 12 hour colorful crayon contour eye pencil in tiramisu. I mean, why can't they just call things, it's an eyeliner. Like just, why it's gotta be so fancy names. <laughs> All right, tops and bottoms. Oopsie. Okay. So I accidentally, you guys, <laughs> I accidentally got my pencil all up underneath my lower lash line here. 
Um, so let's see if I can blend this out and all right, you guys. So I tried to blend out that eyeliner. That, that was my fault. Um, I was trying to keep this eye a little bit, um, lighter, but it looks like it's, it's gotten to a little bit on the darker side, which is fine. I don't, I don't mind. So now I'm going to go in with mascara. I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Hella Thick. I love this stuff, you guys. I know some people don't like it, but for me, the drier formula, it just, it grips my lashes. So it works, it works for me. Okay, guys, so that eye is done and I I do think it's very beautiful. I think it's very pretty, but am I wowed by it? Not really. I mean, for the price point, I'm just not wowed by it. Okay, but let's see what we can do with this side here. And I want to, I really want to go out of the norm of what I feel like these, these mats, I feel like force you to go in a certain direction. Um, with this palette and I'm trying to, I'm trying to be rebellious. That's what I want to be. I want to be rebellious with this palette. Okay. So, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glitter glue, even though my eyes already primed, I already have the, the urban decay primer potion on my eyes, but I need, I need more grip. So I'm going to put glitter glue all over my eye. I'm going into erysema. I'm going to take it on my finger and I'm going to stamp it on the eye. I'm even putting it in the inner corner as well. You guys you probably already noticed that. And I'm taking it up. I'm taking it all the way up, not all the way up to my brow bone, but I'm taking it up into my crease all the way up to where I would put like a transition. <sighs> okay. Little bit of, of fallout right here, but nothing, no, nothing that's, you know, deal breaker for me. I don't, I don't mind that. Now that shade, very beautiful. This could be like a one and done, you know? Um, but I feel like, I feel like I need to go into Daylily, which you guys is so highly pigmented. If you did watch that first video, holy, I think it went beyond pigmentation. Like it went into ridiculous mode pigmentation. Like I don't even know what to say about it. Okay. I'm going to take a Sigma, um, E25. I don't know you guys. It's, do you see how dark that is? Watch. I'm going to tap off all the fluff everywhere. And I'm going to even do this. Okay. Now let's see, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to, I just want to put it in the crease. I just want to see if I can blend this out right here in the crease and see what that does. You know, maybe I approached this palette wrong in the first video. You know, I don't know. I'm just trying to think outside the box. You guys help me, help me comment below. If I'm not, if I'm not doing this right <laughs> to tell me, give me ideas. I am open. I'm going to take whatever's left over of the day Lily and I'm going to take it underneath the lower lash line. Cause there's still a ton of product on here. It just keeps going. You guys, it's multiplying. Like, is there some kind of special formula in these sh matte shades that just, when you start to rub it, like, you know, burst of, of, I don't know what extra pigmentation. And it just keeps going and going and going and going. Just, I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not loving it. I'm not loving it. Okay, you guys. So this, here's the thing. Like I mentioned before, like Adept Cosmetics is very specialized. You're going to get a very specific type of eye look. And it's possible that me personally, that I'm not drawn to that type of look. So I don't want you to think that the formula is bad or like, uh, you know, Adept Cosmetics didn't do a good job with this palette. That's not the case. It's just 
I think that this is just personal. Then I also think that Adept Cosmetics did go out of side of the box and offer a neutral palette that they don't normally do. And I don't know, maybe, maybe that's just not their genre. You know what I mean? Maybe that's just not their cup of tea or something, you know? Um, all right. I I'm going to go into the green Kelly. I'm going to go into that blue green shade. I'm going to keep it on the same brush, the Sigma that I was using. I'm going to just put it on the outer edge here. Let's just see. I don't know, you guys. I don't want this to get muddy because... Ugh. I just, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. All right. I'm going into Daffodil. I, I got to brighten this eye up, you guys. I just feel like uh, me thinking outside of the box took me to a place that I don't like. <laughs> I like to stay in my comfort zone. All right, I'm gonna take the Sigma brush again. Let's see if I can stamp it out. Now I feel like I have to go into Tan Toffee Rose and kind of blend this out. There's no blending shade, you guys, except for possibly this one. And it's gonna alter my look, which I didn't want it to do. That's the problem with these mattes, that there is not, a shade in here that you could blend with that won't alter your makeup look. A little bit more daffodil. It is it you guys? Is it me? It got. I feel like it's got to be me. Like uh, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. All right. Um, going into yellow Bronwyn. I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. Let's see what that does even though I already had some in the inner corner. And then I'm also gonna take it on the brow bone. Okay, so I cannot, mm, I, don't, I don't like this eye so much that I feel like I wanna take it off with a makeup wipe, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna persevere. I'm gonna keep forging ahead with it. I don't like this look these two looks better than yesterday. I was trying to redeem this palette. All right, let's go back in with the with the eyeliner. I feel like I have no hope today. <laughs> All right. I was much more careful with my tight lining on this eye. All right, so I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna go back in with mascara. Then we'll do these lips, something that'll make me happy. <laughs> the eyes are done. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'll wait. I'll wait till I give you my final thoughts. But you guys, if you've been watching me for a while, you probably know the look on my face says it all. Anyways, let's move on to lipstick. I think I'm going to use this teensy baby lipstick. Look how cute it is. <laughs> this is the, um, oh Lord, I can't even see it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Medium lipstick. I got it in like a, a free birthday kit. Um, you know, at Sephora, they give you like little tiny items. I just think it's so cute. So I think I'm going to use that because these eyes got really dark. Um, I think that'll be good to use. So the liner I'm going to use is the Jason Wu lip liner in nudist. Now I'm going to go in with this adorable teensy, tiny, so cute Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> pillow talk in medium. Oh, look at how cute that is. Mm. All right, let me finish. Okay, guys, the lipstick is on. I don't really like this lipstick like at all with this eye look. I need to add a little bit of gloss um, to my lips, which is kind of what I do all the time anyways. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Filler Instinct. This is in the shade Cheap Fills. I think it'll add a nice touch to the lips. Yeah, much better.
Yeah, gave it a little bit of shine, added a little bit of kind of metallic, kind of goes a little bit better with the eyes for sure. All right, let's spray the face. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter. Okay guys, it's time for me to show you the final look. Okay guys, this makeup look is complete. That is a round two of the Flying Fiddles palette from Adept Cosmetics. I, 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 I stand by my first review. I think that the palette, um, I don't particularly favor the palette. Um, I think even my second time using it, I, I feel like it's, I even, don't like it even more. <laughs> um, you guys, I'm sorry to say that this is not anything negative against Adept Cosmetics. You know, like I was mentioning before, they work so hard, these, these companies. And, you know, it's possible that I just, I'm not attracted to um, a color story like this, even though it's a neutral color story. Um, even though they do have some really beautiful shimmers in here and, and duochromes. I, I think that, but I feel like this palette could have been over the top in the best direction with more mattes. Um, I think that they're very limited with these four mattes. Like it's almost forcing you to go into a certain direction that just isn't, isn't the direction where I want to go. <laughs> Um, so I don't know you guys, and I especially, I, I especially think that you do not need to spend 62 on upwards, you know, $62, um, for this palette in order to get very beautiful eye looks. These, I don't know you guys, it's, I feel like the price point is outrageous for what is offered, um, in the palette. I, um, I think they just missed the mark. Um, with it. Now, if this palette was 25 bucks, I might say, okay, all right, possibly go for it. But I'm sorry. I, oh man, I'm sorry, guys. I really wanted to love this palette because it was my first Adept Cosmetics purchase. And I, and because it's neutral, I, I and, and when I saw the color story and the swatches online, I was just, I ordered it right away. You guys, I mean, seriously, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in my state in Florida, I was on there like a mad woman ordering right away. Like I had an alert set. That's how high hopes I had for this palette. So anyways, you guys, I don't know. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Comment below. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.